back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this super cute um, braid and curl kind of makeup look. I actually got this technique from um, a girl named or her YouTube channel name is Curl Days. I will have her link down in the description box but I actually got that technique from her. She was the first person that I've seen do it this way um, and I, made sure, I wanted to make sure that I gave her credit because that's where I got it from. Um, but it came out super cute with my hair and I really really like it. I may start doing my hair like this on a regular basis maybe once I get back to, to the braid outs and things like that. But I thought this was super cute. It's super easy to do. Um, it probably takes a little bit more time than just doing a regular braid and curl. But the results are like dope. So this is the look. It's super cute. Look at my ends or some of my ends. Yeah I didn't let it dry like 100%. Like not on purpose, but I didn't realize it was not all the way dry. I sat under the dryer for like an hour and I hate sitting under my dryer. But it still wasn't dry in like some parts. But if you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys know I love frizz. So it really doesn't bother me at all. I don't care. It still came out cute, full, lovely. I do still have my undercuts. So I'm going to show you guys my current design um, that I have right now because I do still have that. A lot of people ask me, are you growing it out or are you not? No, I'm not growing it out. I don't know when I'm going to grow it out or if I'm ever going to grow it back out. But um, I am going to show you guys my um, current design that I have right now. So that's the current design that I have right now. Again, I will have the my barber's Instagram down in the description box if you guys are in, you know, the New Jersey Union, Essex County area. Um, you guys can go check him out. But I will have his Instagram down below and you can contact him as far as like where his shop is and things like that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I'm starting off with dry hair. If you want to see how it got to this point, um, please click the cards. Um, I will have a video of my wash day routine. But I'm going to spritz my hair with some water, not so that it's soaking wet, but just so that it's a little bit damp so it's easier for me to make sure I have all the tangles out. And then I'm going to go in with another oldie but goodie, the Cantu Shea Butter Twist and Lock Gel. Um, I love this stuff. I always have. I've mentioned it in previous videos. Um, and then I'm going to go in and braid my hair. I'm going to braid it about halfway. sections pin two of them up and then I'm going to individually rod each of those sections and I'm just applying a little bit more water and lock gel to make sure that it has a nice kind of smooth hold um, and then I'm just going to perm rod that all the way up to the base or up until that braid and then I'm going to do that to the other two sections Wow. 
how I let my hair dry under my bonnet dryer. I definitely wish I would have let it dry a little bit longer, but I didn't have much time. Um, so if you guys are doing this, make sure your hair is 100% dry before you take it down so you don't have as much frizz as I do. If you don't like frizz, I don't mind it. So it really didn't bother me that much as I stated in the beginning of the video. But I did sit under a bonnet dryer probably for about an hour. And then I'm going to go in and take perm rods out. I'm not going to let you guys sit through that. And then I'm just going to carefully unravel, unravel the braids. And then I'll eventually go in and separate and twirl my end so that it keeps the curl or the coil that's at the end. Um, and then everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. I know you guys have been missing my hair tutorials when I'm back with them and I will see you guys next time. Bye!